big celebrity and company donations. What am I talking about? Well, you know, Hurricane Harvey just rolled through Texas. And I saw a news blurb, and this is what got me started on this. I was having a conversation with someone about it, now I'm sharing it here. But the Kardashians, and I don't know anything about the Kardashians. I don't watch the show. I don't really watch TV anyway, but I don't watch the show. I don't know anything about them except that they're a bunch of socialites with a reality show. They're basically famous for being famous because as far as I know, none of them have ever done anything except just be buffoons on television for ratings, which is what most reality shows are, unfortunately. But they scraped together $500,000. And a lot of people are like, that's it? I mean, you're a group of millionaires, and $500,000 is the best you can do. But that's not the point. You know, I'm not trying to take away from giving $500,000 to a charity. I can't do it. But why? The reason why is because they just bought themselves some publicity. They put together $500,000 so that social media could blow them up and make them look so good. That's all it really is. I doubt that they even really care. I don't want to say that because I don't know for sure. I don't know them personally. But I wonder if people like this even really, really care or if it's just an opportunity, if they're just buying a chance at some publicity. And it reminds me of Philip Morris. You know Philip Morris, the cigarette manufacturer. They had a commercial during Hurricane Katrina. And this is the tie-in because the money is the same and it's another hurricane, another huge disaster. Hurricane Katrina rolled through and Philip Morris had this commercial where they show these helicopters flying and all this flooded out area and people getting out of the helicopters and handing people boxes. And Philip Morris Company has donated over $500,000 to Hurricane Katrina relief. And it's like, okay big deal. You're this billion dollar company giving away $500,000. But wait, there's more. You see, it was later revealed. And I looked for this commercial. I wanted to show the commercial. I can't find it. I, I'm sure Philip Morris has done a lot to make sure nobody ever sees this commercial again after what happened. But if you find it, put it in a link down below. Uh, put it in the comment section, somebody, if you know what I'm talking about, or if you remember this commercial. What happened was, it was revealed that they had spent over $12 million on the advertising. So then it's like, wait a minute, Philip Morris. You gave $500,000 away and then spent $12 million in order to brag about it. That's just publicity, folks. But you see, nowadays, with social media, you don't need to purchase commercials in order to advertise yourself anymore, do you? If you're well-known enough, like the Kardashians, you get that publicity for free. How do I know that? Because I'm Batman. Batman. Don't tell anyone. Now, the other commercial that really got my attention just recently was the one from Walmart. Walmart. And it, it comes on where they're showing um where they're showing texas and they're talking about the people and the heart of texas banding together and they, they go on and on of the, like this you know, what are you talking about are they asking for donations because everybody's always begging everywhere for donations you can't walk down the street without somebody begging anymore it seems but at the end of the commercial it talks about walmart has given over 25 million dollars to this relief for hurricane harvey and I'm like, okay, here we go. They bought themselves some advertising. But is more to it than that. Because if you read the fine print underneath the $25 million, it states that they collected it. doesn't say they gave away their own money. It says they collected it for the relief. Which basically means like, you know, when you go to the store and you make a purchase and they're like, oh, would you like to donate a dollar to muscular dystrophy? That's how they got the $25 million. It's not even their freaking money. But they're going to put on this big display and make you think that they were being charitable even though they weren't. Then it also says in the fine print, and this is a fine print little blurb, so you got to, you know, if you can, freeze it and look and read it. It also says that if, they, if anything is coming in the form of a, of a donation from Walmart itself, 
it will be in the form of merchandise. <laughs> so they're giving away um, probably clearance stuff or whatever they get laying around extra that they don't need or that they didn't pay much for because even if they did give away $25 million worth of merchandise, they only paid 10 cents on the dollar or less for it. So it's really not $25 million, even though the sticker price is, and they can claim that. So that's how that works, folks. And I'm tired of it. You get to a point in your life where you're old enough, because I know I fuss a lot on this channel, but when you get old enough, that's what you do. When you start to really see the big picture and how people are, it, 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 it's disgusting. It just disgusts you. And I, for one, am sick and tired of the, of the charities. I'm tired of people begging, begging, begging all the time. Not people, but companies and celebrities always begging people who don't have it, but not really doing anything themselves. You know what I mean? You're the ones, you're the 1%. You're the ones who could make a difference, but you don't. You put it on everyone else to make the difference for you and you use your celebrity status or your power as a company to try to influence everyone to ask them to make them feel guilty about things and you don't even know you really don't even know where that money's going take a look at the disaster in haiti the uh the earthquake in haiti haiti was completely destroyed look at haiti now it looks the same way nothing has been done there nothing really has been done there the haitian government and other agencies have been tied up in lawsuits for years with all the charities that collected billions of dollars and the haitian government and the agencies working over there want to know where the hell that money is all these years later they don't have it and they're not going to get it they're not going to get it the biggest one by the way the clinton foundation in charge of something like five billion dollars might be misquoting go ahead and uh, take a look take a look put it in the comment section if you if you find it or if you know because you know I don't, i'm not sitting here reading anything you know I, I talk off the top of my head for the most part but because I'm, I'm i'm mostly going from experience talking about myself usually but where'd the money go all these people in good faith people like you and me gave money all right and these mega corporations and these celebrities coerced people or influenced people to make donations and it ended up somewhere, but the people that it was intended for never got it. And that happens more than you think. It happens a lot more than you think. Also, it's not charity if you're blowing your horn about it. You know, and it's a quote from the Bible. And I might be misquoting this because, you know, I don't have scripture memorized. So if you know the quote, again, put it in the comment section. That's fine. I want to see it. But let not the left hand know what the right hand's doing. If you're going to make a charitable donation or you're going to do something for charity, just do it. You're not doing it so that you can carry a banner and act like you're so fantastic because you did something for a charity because that's not charity anymore. It just isn't. Um, please like and share the video i know i don't usually i haven't usually been just coming out and saying that but recently i have because a lot of my videos have been getting tagged by youtube for being controversial somehow and it means that it doesn't get monetized but it's not even about the money because i don't have like billions of views here i'm not going to get like a hundred million views on every video i'm not making any actual money but it also puts the video all the way down to the bottom of the search engine. So unless you're already a subscriber and the notifications button has been clicked for this channel, nobody's going to see it. They've been hitting me a lot lately I, for whatever reason, because I give an example. I did a video about this not too long ago and cited some examples of other videos, you know, hey, look at it for yourself tell me is this controversial is this provocative is there a lot of excessive foul language whatever and it's there it's not i mean it's just the video is just me talking 
this is what I what I do. I sit here and I talk and I give an opinion or I talk about experiences from my life or whatever. So please uh, please like and share and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And like I said, just think about what I said. You know, is it really charity? And does it really go where you think it's going? A lot of times it isn't. If you really investigate it and you really look at it, Goodwill is a good example. The uh, Goodwill mission, you go and you buy something at Goodwill. Thank you for supporting the Goodwill mission. Goodwill isn't a charity. Did you know that? Goodwill is not a charity. They keep all the money. Their mission is when they talk about you're providing jobs for people, they mean their own employees. <laughs> it's not actually a charity. But people are coerced or fooled, I guess, into believing that it is because they come off like one. So, and there's a lot of that going around. Just uh, be aware of it. 